What's up YouTube? It's Elijah Wan Dream and we're back again with another My Team gameplay video. So as you can tell in front of us we got the new Galaxy Opal Dave Cowens. So in order to get this card all you needed to do was play some triple threat online and hopefully he popped up in one of the boards. Now today is Monday May 11th. Now I do believe that he might still be on the boards. I did just read a tweet that somebody did just get him. So he might still be out there if anybody is seeing this. You can still play tonight and get this card because he is absolutely nasty. This card is seriously OP. It has the Marcus uh, Aldridge base. So really smooth jump shot. It takes a little bit to get used to, but once you do, it's absolutely money. And his dunk animations are amazing, as you could tell at the start. 90 driving dunk, you got Mike D'Antoni coach. That's a 94 driving dunk. 89 three ball, I believe, too. Plus four to that as well. 93. Put a shoe on him for either of those. All good. But this is a center card and he is six foot nine so he is undersized but his athleticism his attributes and his badges are absolutely amazing and the animations that come with it absolutely amazing as well this card is amazing i can't say enough about it i am so glad that i actually got this card i still want to pick up that louis dampier or dampier however you say that i'm not 100 sure but Look at the stats in this card. I don't know if there's anything below even the 89 three ball, honestly. 97 driving layup, great post game. That's what I love about this card too. You give me a card that I can speed boost, has a post game, can shoot threes, gets a dunk. Oh my God, I got the whole package. I can do absolutely everything. Like I said, the 90 driving dunk, still 95 standing dunk, an 89 three ball, 97 mid. So you can perfectly green up from anywhere. I guess 86 ball hand or 84 pass accuracy might be the lowest stat. But regardless, this can speed boost. This card is absolutely insanely fast too. Amazing defense as well. 95 perimeter defense with a 98 interior defense. 97 steel. I did put a diamond shoe on him just because I did want to boost my speed with ball. And you will see why when or when I get there in a little bit. But 98 block as well too. So he has amazing defense. He has no problem there. 98 defensive offensive rebound. So he's going to snag everything. And he is very athletic like I was saying. And 94 speed. And I put the shoe on him because I wanted that 95 speed with ball. He does naturally have a 92 speed with ball. But putting it up to a 95 speed with ball. Once you get that glass cleaning takeover. You still do get plus 5 speed with ball. So this does get a 99 speed with ball and takeover. Along with a 99 acceleration. You'll get that 99 vertical. 99 speed as well. So this card absolutely OP at the center position. You can easily ISO up a lot of those centers. If you've got like the taco fall anything like that any big centers this card will be way too fast now it might be a little tough to get rebounds etc but this card will be extremely underrated on the defensive end you have a ton of badges which i will show you in a second but either way you switch out to the four you have that lateral quickness as well so that's really easy too and i put that 99 defensive consistency along with the shoe too so he is going to be locking people up that's what i love about this card as well too great animations great defense all around amazing card but let's get right into the badges 43 hall of fame badges and all the badges you want to brick wall catch and shoot corner specialist difficult shots with that 97 mid range and that 97 post fade that is absolutely op you guys so nice in the post so nice for off the mid range hall of fame pick and poppers just like i said he can still run them at the five and i like to run these cards in the game plays at their natural position so i will be running him at the center you can do lots of pick and pops that LaMarcus Aldridge base really hard to contest still have the great finishing as you can tell from the clips first or at the start postman technician has all the post badges you want Hall of Fame quick draw as well that Hall of Fame hot start hot zone hunter even has that playmaking of Hall of Fame dimer I love Hall of Fame dimer on my centers as well because if you start eating up in the post they start double teaming easy kick outs to the perimeter easy greens so nice Green Machine, the Rim Protector, Pick Dodger, Flexible Release, Box, Clamps, Defensive Leader, everything. Hall of Fame D fades, like I was saying, for that post game. Hall of Fame Intimidator, you get all the defensive badges. Seriously, all the Hall of Fame badges that you want. The only Hall of Fame badge that you would want that it doesn't have is Range Extender. That's the only badge, but it is gold. So you can still green up. Tireless Defender, Worm, Back Down Punisher, Contact Finisher, Hall of Fame Deep Hooks as well. That's extremely OP. Hall of Fame pick and roll, fancy footwork, slithery finisher, giant slayer. Like, look at these badges, you guys. This card is amazing. 
It has almost 70 badges total. Like, absolutely insane. All gold Hall of Fame as well, too. Like, look at these Dream Shake handles for days, too, so you can still sauce up. That Needle Threader, extremely underrated badge, so you can get those passes through. Space Creator, tight handles, too, so you can break your defender. Oh, my goodness. Seriously, I am in love with this card. That Gold Clutch Shooter kicking in as well, as you can tell from the clip at the start when I'm greened up in Wilt Chamberlain's face. I absolutely loved that clip too because that guy got mad. He held that pause for a while. Chase on artist, Slob City finisher, ankle breaker even on a center. Like that is so OP, you guys. Like, oh my goodness. You got that range extender, the floor general even, tireless shooter, volume shooter, and the alpha dog. Like I was saying, this card is so nice, you guys. Even though he is six foot nine, still insanely athletic. You get all the dribbles with it. Amazing defense, great rebounding. You'll be able to lock up anybody. This card extremely underrated. I'm sure there's going to be more opportunities to pick up this card other than tonight, because even on my free uh, weekly wheel spin, I did see some old locker codes. I actually kind of wanted to get that Galaxy Opal Elven Hayes. I wanted to try him out as well too. I think also another underrated. Card card but like i said i think he will pop up in there sometimes so hopefully he does for you guys definitely pick up this card but let's get right into some limited gameplay dropping 25 points in the first quarter and then my opponent quits but let's go all right so right here not the greatest competition obviously pink diamond vladi amethyst chandler pink diamond uh carmelo pink diamond ewing and then another amethyst and i have to correct myself i did not drop 25 points in the first quarter i dropped 25 points in the first half but regardless i am super impressed with this card i absolutely love this card it is a blast right there getting pretty lucky he got pretty mad i it could have been a charge i'm pretty sure that was a charge but no call. It's all good. Dave Cowens, he's a beast right there. Also playing defense. Had to show that off. Getting a nice little block. Vladi Divac is seven foot one, but right there too. That's what I was saying. If the centers are too big, they don't have great perimeter defense. Bring him out there. You got that 95 speed with ball in takeover. 99 speed with ball. Absolutely OP at the center position. So that's why I'm running it at him at his natural position. And right there too. You can't stop him on the drive. And one. 94 driving dunk you want to put a shoe on him you get 97 plus that takeover that will give you a 99 driving dunk as well it's absolutely op if you can get a driving dunk and a speed with ball shoe i'm not sure if that actually exists or not but if you can that's absolutely op and right here too nice post game as well like i was talking about 97 post fade and he does have a 97 mid-range so his hop shots are really nice as well that's what i love about this gameplay too we do a little bit of everything in here we show off his dribbles we give his post game his dunking his three-point shot everything this card is an all-around beast seriously what was lowest attribute was an 84 pass accuracy amazing card this card is seriously absolutely goaded Pick it up if you get the opportunity to because I can't say enough about this card because it is absolutely amazing. Right there though, this Eddie Curry is seriously so, so nasty as well too. Oh, with the big poster. If you haven't picked up an Eddie Curry yet, you absolutely got to as well because like I said, he's got high speed with balls well and he's a 295 pound center. He's a freight train coming down the lane and I'm pretty sure he's got like a 95 uh, driving dunk too, but right there. That's what I'm talking about. Dave Cowens with a nice pose game. He does have a lot of Hall of Fame pose badges. That between the legs behind the back, absolutely nasty. Right there, getting bailed out in the three-pointer. That was a bad shot, but I thought I had enough space, but we luckily got a foul. But like I said, right there, 17 points just like that in probably about five to six minutes of game, game time just like that. But his free throw, absolute money as well. Kind of hard to time. Doesn't really matter, though. He's a high enough rating. It's going to go in no matter what. His rebounding is really nice as well. Didn't show a lot of it, but he does have three rebounds. But like I said, his speed at the center position is unmatched. There isn't going to be very many centers that are going to be able to get a 99 speed with ball. It is only available in takeover, but look at that. Like, his dribbles are absolutely so nasty once you get used to them. You can seriously sauce up with this card. 86 ball handle like I was showing off before. But I absolutely love this card. He's getting frustrated right there. He's got to foul me. Easy points. See, 23 points. And he's going to get one more 25 points at the half. 
That's all I was able to do with this Dave Cowens. I was not able to get him back in the game after this. He does rage quit after a Nate Archibald three-pointer, which was actually nasty. But right here, this Eddie Curry making some cheesy stuff as well, too. I mean, if that happened and then this Nate Archibald three coming up, I would also quit as well. But anyways, like I said, this free Galaxy Opal Dave Cowens, you guys, you guys have to pick it up. It is super fun. Absolutely nasty jump shot. Great animation. This guy's had enough of me just torching him. 40 to 16. He is out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you drop a like if you do, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.